A long long time ago, before the arrival of humans approximately 60 million years ago, our planet was ruled by giants whom now we call dinosaurs. These dinosaurs roamed this earth for a prolonged period of 180 million years. Once again welcome to our videos. Viewers, scientists have found 900 such fossils which are linked to different species of dinosaurs. According to an estimate when the Jurassic period was at its peak, there used to be 400 billion different kinds of dinosaurs on Earth. I.e. more than 40 crore. Species of animals that lived and died before arrival of humans, their structure or anything that shows evidence of their presence on Earth is called fossil. The first fossil was found in Norway when it was discovered by workers drilling in snore oil field. This fossil was buried 2,250 meters deep below the sea bottom. Being buried for millions of years inside the ground, it becomes hard for the fossil to retain its actual shape. Most of the fossils turned into oil which we process and use as fuel. Often we found bits and pieces of their bones. And, if luck favors we may find their skeleton. If we search for dinosaurs in Google we get to see a long list. These are the species of dinosaurs, a few pieces of whose fossils we have found. Joining these pieces and examining their footprints in various places an assumption used to be made about their looks, their walking style, and their eating habits. Still, we haven't found a fossil which is in its original condition. But now we were close. In 2011 a person named Sean Funk was controlling an excavator in a mine in Canada. This 200 feet deep excavation was being done for Suncor's Millennium Mine which is present in the Canadian province of Alberta. It was 2.30 p.m., and the excavation work was at its peak. Although the soil was quite soft and that's the reason why, the excavator didn't have to put much pressure. But a point came when the excavator had to exert pressure. Initially Sean Funk thought it might be some big rock. When that rock-like object was given a little force Sean saw a peculiar pattern being buried inside the ground. A pattern of circles surrounded by dark brown clay. Anybody, just like Sean, would have halted the work to inspect it closely. And exactly this is what Sean did. He called his chief supervisor and for the next several hours all people working in the mine gathered to see this weird object. But everyone got to know the reality when Dr. Donald Henderson from Royal Tyrell Museum came into the scene. Dr. Donald who has a vast experience of prehistoric fossils understood that it is a fossil of such an animal which was still unknown to mankind. The fossils that were found earlier from Alberta were of Plesiosaurus that's why Dr. Donald believed this fossil might also belong to Plesiosaurus. But he had no idea that the thing which is buried in the ground is going to change his life forever. 80 million years ago this part of Canada from where the fossil was found was under the deep sea. The plesiosaurus that used to live here, fell on the ground after dying and that is the reason why this area had a lot of fossils of plesiosaurus. But was this fossil was of this plesiosaurus or of any other animal and most importantly how it looked like. To know all this, it was important to bring it very safely. And this task was not that easy. Excavation experts were hired and with great care the excavation process started. The soil was removed from the sides and above the fossil. And now it was time to bring it out of the ground. Normally electric jackhammer are used for this purpose. But this might damage the fossil that's why experts decided to use hydrovising technology. Hydrovising is a technology with which any object can be cut with high pressure water gun and along with that with an industrial grade vacuum mud and water was sucked. Using hydrovising the task was completed nicely and skillfully. Now this giant rock containing fossil was separated from the land and now it was time to load it onto the truck. Experts believe that it could be easily loaded onto the truck with the help of a crane. But everyone was apprehensive about a mishap during the loading process. And fears came true. As soon as the crane, exerted some pressure to lift the fossil it cracked open. All the people present at the site were dumbfounded. On one hand, experts were saddened to see their effort gone in vain on the other hand Royal Tyrell Museum team had the sadness of having the fossil damaged. 
Although the fossil looks like a rock but its center was fragile which could not withstand the crane's pressure. But not all hopes were dashed. Despite the fossil broke, but it was still complete. What's inside it remains to be known. All the pieces of the fossil were packed and sent to Royal Tyrell Museum. Where a fascinating reality was about to be unveiled. At this point, no one knew the reality of the fossil. Due to being inside the ground for millions of years it was a daunting task to separate the fossil from the rock surrounding it. But it has to be completed. With five years and 7,000 man-hours of hard work when the fossil was separated from the rock. The scenario that presented itself, was hidden for 80 million years. All the paleontologist was surprised to see that this fossil was not of any plesiosaurus rather it was a fossil of a dinosaur. But everyone got awestruck when they found out that the fossil of this dinosaur was so well preserved that its skin is still undamaged. This was the only dinosaur in the world which was found in an intact condition. In the past all the dinosaur fossils that we have found we got their bones and they were sent to the museum after putting together all the bones with years of hard work. The reddish brown color skin full body armored jacket for self-defense and apart from this not much was known about this 3.5 ton dinosaur. When the paleontologist separated the fossil entirely from the rock now it was time for paleontologists to investigate upon this weird species of dinosaur. For the first time researchers were researching on a sample which was present in its original form. After years of research and hundreds of tests the facts they gathered were really interesting. This dinosaur died 110 million years ago. And at the time of its death it was eating something. This slow walking dinosaur was herbivorous and the traces of that plant was found in its stomach, which got preserved with it. This dinosaur was found in that period of Jurassic age when reptiles used to rule this world. After their extinction, new animals came into being that started roaming in air, water and land which contained ferocious predators like T-Rex. 65 million years ago, a gigantic meteoroid, 10 times larger than Dubai suddenly hit the Earth. The impact shook the Earth and the resulting destruction was impossible to imagine. Scientists believe this event marked the end of all the dinosaurs. Experts are hopeful that locks of fossils like this are still buried somewhere in the mountains or under the land. Hope you will like and share this our video. My heartfelt appreciation for your loving comments. We'll meet you in another amazing video.